All right, it's uh, Monday, May 8th, and I'm disking. Uh, I started disc disking this morning. I finished up a small little field. I don't know if it's six or seven acres. I doubt even that. And here's another smaller field. Uh, I believe this might be eight. All the plowing's done. Um, quite a bit of the plowing took place last fall boarding. Uh, this field was one of them. This field is rough as hell. Um, this is the second year now that we're rolling this over. Uh, last year was the first. It's just as rough as it was last year. This field was in hay. Uh, grass alfalfa for Dad would know better, but I gotta tell you, probably about 10 years. Now a lot of people would probably shrug their shoulders at that 10 years in hay, but it always produced. For the last couple of years it was on the downslope, but uh, it always did a good job. Last year we decided it needed to be turned over. And, uh, again this year, we're gonna be putting barley in this field with uh, new seeding alfalfa for next year. And it's going to be uh, alfalfa grass. It's going to be an alfalfa grass field again for uh, who knows, maybe another eight, ten years, as long as it produces. Um, across the road right now, as you can see, the farm's over here. Hold on here, I got to do some hydraulics. here but this is about the most uneven field you'll ever see. You'll see a lot of these little craters in here. That's from picking giant stones that have been turned up when it got mold boarded. So that kind of adds into the roughness of the field but there's nothing you can do. You got to get the stones out of there. We have unbelievably rocky fields. Uh, everybody around us surrounding our lands they don't have any rocks. We've got quite a few. Uh, not only do we pick big stones after a plowing, but after I disc and then drag or culti mulch, uh, we usually get a flat wagon and about uh, three, four, five kids and pick little stones. It's it's that bad. It's not because we're that particular. It just it needs to be done. It's that bad. There's a lot of people with some of the same problem around here, but I don't know, what are you going to do? Speaking of culti mulching, um, we've never done that on this farm before. Uh, I said on another video there's a, there's a gentleman not far from here looking to get rid of his. It was kind of at my leisure, I was able to borrow it, test it out and see if it you know, if it was for me, well, I kind of changed a little bit. Somebody else is interested in it and offered him some money, and very honorably he declined and said, well, Ben gets uh, first crack at it. But I got the word today that I need to I need to see if I want it or not, so I'm going to grab it tomorrow morning, kind of shift things around here, and I'm going to culti mulch the field that I dissed this morning. We're going to take a good look at it, see if it's a good fit for us, and uh, purchase it, if it is. Kind of a slow week for calves this week. I'll explain about this disc in just a minute. Well, I'll tell you right now. I bought this disc. this disc is part of a package deal. Uh, a couple years ago I bought a couple of pieces. This was just sitting there. It was in good shape. It's still in fair shape. And I got a hell of a deal on it. 
truth of the matter is I never should have bought it. Um, number one, as you can see, the wings are up. It's a 12-foot disc with the wings down 18. That's too much for this tractor. It can do it, but I'm beating the hell out of it. You can't do that. Uh, the wings kind of broke. It's a cable and spring system. They're manual folds, not hydraulic. <laughs> All the cables, well, three out of the four frayed and broke. And the spring system is a little bit messed up. So I'm making do with what I have here. And it's just 12 foot disking. The one thing I do like about it, a little catch 22 here, is it's. It's extremely heavy. Now this tractor can handle a heavy disc with the wings up. Um, so if I get ground like this that needed to be worked very hard, put the wings up and that is a lot of weight down on a 12 footer. So it works out. I guarantee I'll be in the market if things go well in about a, uh, I don't next year, maybe the year after. I'd be in the market for a very nice 18 footer um, and probably a higher horsepower tractor as well. We'll see how things go though. Uh, calves this week. Calves this week, everybody's kind of on a lull here this week. I'm not really sure why, but everybody is. Um, I'm going to start hopefully picking them up, if not tomorrow, Wednesday morning. I've kind of got four suppliers now. Hold on. This thing is rough. I've got kind of four suppliers now. I've got my two, which I call big boys, and then uh, uh, I really probably shouldn't talk like that. And then a, a couple of guys that are uh, about a 60, 70, maybe 80 cohort which is going to add tremendously. Um, I don't know. Actually, I, I hope to get about 10 calves this week. I've got to fill these hutches. It dawned on me last week. I've seen all those empty hutted hutches, which wasn't a problem for me the last couple years. Well, here's the deal. I'm home full time now. This is my job. In fact, today's the first day. It kind of set in on me a little bit. Uh, it's Monday. It's always a big day at work, and well, I'm not there, so and it's okay, man. it's all right. But, uh, I've got to fill those calf hutches, every one of them should be full right now. That's not reality, but I got to do what I can to fill them. I need uh, I need good weighted animals for November and December sales uh, for my paycheck from here on out no more weekly paychecks. So, plan accordingly. I think I did. I hope I did. We'll see what happens. One little catastrophic failure and 